Hello guys, it's Cobes here and I'm back with another Minecraft Let's Play, so let's get started. Um, what I'm planning on doing is making this a little bit more circular so it's not so, you know, just straight lines. And I'm planning on putting some fences around it too. So let me get this all done and then we'll get work started on the fences. And another thing, title update 31 should be coming out soon, and I'll make some update videos on that once it finally comes out. Follow me on Twitter, and I'll definitely be able to, or I'll definitely tweet about it right when it comes out. So if um, you're wondering when it's coming out, follow me, and um, I'll let you know, and I'll let you know about my update videos that I'm definitely going to make. Okay, so now that that's done whoops I destroyed that but no problem I've got a couple blocks over here or I can just do this that works okay so I think that's symmetrical let me start by placing some of these blocks down and then we'll place the cobblestone walls down um, yeah as you know I, I I'm taking a little break from college and that will free me, free me up like a lot of time to do this. So, yeah, my videos hopefully will be getting better and more professional looking. That's what I'm hoping for. So let me put all these down, and then I'll be back once these are all down. I think I have the outside portion figured out. I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do on like the inside portion, but... Um, yeah, since we have the outside figured out, let's get started on working on that. So, these are the three main blocks. The walls, the cobblestone walls, the stone half slabs, and then stone brick stairs. So, let's see if it looks good. <clears throat> let's see. So, let's go over here and start building. So, what I want to do is, was it, goes from right here. Um, yeah, that works. I can always move it back. Whoops. And then I want to place half slabs all the way around so then I can um, walk on the outside without stepping on all my crops. And even if, like, I still want a little elevation um, when I'm walking. That's why I want it to be up instead of on the just ground. So let's see. So. Um, place that. This should, let's see how it looks after I'm done placing all these blocks. Sorry for not really talking much. Um, alright. So place these last couple and then we'll take a look. Alright. So I'll put it all the way around. I think it looks pretty good. And then I can put my crops and I can walk on all the way around without um you know stepping on all my crops I finished the these walkways around my base so I'll show you what they look like so I have this cobblestone wall on each of these layers and then um, a stone brick underneath so yeah I think this will look pretty good honestly when the walls are done and everything and um, yeah it's gonna be a lot easier to maneuver and I, I don't know I can get a lot of different angles when I'm viewing the base so um now what I want to do I don't know exactly how high I want um how tall I want to build this layer let me see so one two maybe right here maybe maybe let me just see how tall that is oh that even seems a little bit tall but I think that's how tall I want it so um, I'll just leave those blocks there for now and now time to start digging out the base a little bit okay I cannot break that many blocks All right. so yeah the what I wanted to talk to you about real quick is the minecraft update is coming out and um, there are a lot of new features that are coming out, like a lot. I think this is going to be the biggest update Minecraft has, and I'm very excited for it. If you guys um, want to be updated on it, please watch my videos to, or um, today and tomorrow, hopefully. 
I don't know if it'll come out today, but if it does, then I'll definitely be posting videos whenever it first comes out. So let me see, is that how high? Or is it even? No, I think I'm going that high. Um, this block over here. I think it'll just be easier. Oh, I'm gonna probably just end up digging it all out first, then placing the blocks. Unless there's lava like this, and I have to place them real quick so the lava doesn't spread everywhere. So let me um finish this up, and then we're gonna start actually working on the farms. And I think I'm gonna make two layers of farms and this layer is gonna be like the main my main source of food it'll have <clears throat> wheat carrots potatoes and one other thing I don't know what it will be exactly yet but I'll be back once I'm done filling in the walls and um, we're actually probably gonna work on this center portion because um, the walls are gonna be different right there I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the walkways yet but um for now I am going to start on the farms and I did finish all the walls around it won't look so like it'll look a lot better once the ceilings on so um yeah don't worry about that right now let's just worry about um, creating these farms so I'm gonna implement some trees into the wheat farms and hopefully into every farm um, let's see how it looks first uh, what, what do I need? I need this. Okay. So, I think every, like, eight blocks, I am going to put down a tree. Let me see. Um, I don't know how exactly I should do this. I think it might just be random where I place the trees. And I might not place them everywhere, but I'm going to place a lot of them. So, let's have one right there. I'll just go around and make some, um, I'll dig out an area where I, I can place the trees and then we can get started on the wheat farm. Um, I, pr I probably don't want them too close to the side, so I'm not going to do that. And I might need a lot more, so, um, we might end up adding more. Oops. I'm trying not to take up too much room. This is where we're going to place the water and then we're going to place the trees as well. So just kind of random areas. Um, since everything else is symmetrical, you know, why not change it up and um, make this not symmetrical. kind of hard to um, know exactly how far away to dig each hole because I'm trying to fill each hole with water and then place the wheat around it and place trees um, on each hole. It, it might look a little crowded but we'll see how it looks once I actually place all the blocks. And don't worry for lighting I have an idea so I just kind of want to I probably should have dug out all these holes off camera, but I've been doing a lot of stuff off camera, so I wanted to do something on camera. Um, let me eat a potato. Not all of these will have trees, but some of them will. And then the other ones will have lily pads. That's my plan so far. So, let's get this started. Hmm. I think I know what I'm going to do, but I'm trying to think. Uh, I think, uh, shoot. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe not that high, right here. Then... Holy crap, that is a tall tree. Let me see how weird that looks. If I... Okay, so this is my plan. Place that there. And then... Um, oh, I need some... I just need a regular piece of wood. Let me see if I have any. If I don't, um, I'll get some off camera. But just imagine 
the it's gonna be like the water below is making the tree like it um it made the tree wet and then the tree changed color I can't I'm sorry I'm re I'm really having a hard time even just thinking about some of the words I'm trying to say I'm very tired right now so I'm running off of like no sleep oh my gosh let me just place that like that this might be a little bit harder than I thought Let me um go get a piece of regular wood and then we'll see how it looks. I am very dumb. I forgot I had saplings and bone meal, so I ran all the way. I went all the way up and then across the water <laughs> to get a piece of wood or a couple pieces of wood. Um, that is not how it should be. What am I doing? Okay. That does not look as good as I thought it would be, honestly. Mm. Let's try the other piece of wood. So this is spruce. I I don't know if we use spruce or dark wood. Um, gosh, I'm I hate doing that, but oh, I think the dark wood looks a lot better. This tree still looks so weird. Um, I'll be back once I figure all this out. I decided I didn't really like that dark piece of wood at the bottom, so um, I think this is what I might do. Just go one block up and then um, bone meal the tree. Let's see. This one is a tall ass tree. <laughs> okay, let's place this this block first. This is um, how I'm going to have to do it. It's a little bit tedious, but it, it will get the job done. So yeah, this is how it should look. Um, once I get it all done with the... Um, sorry, I am I, I keep... like I haven't played this game in a, in a while, so the words I'm thinking of don't come to mind right away. But the lily pads, I'll place the lily pads on... Um, some of the certain ones so I don't have trees on every one of these blocks but I'm going to place a lot of trees as well oh my gosh these slimes are annoying we'll have to make a slime farm on um, one of these layers so once I get all that stuff done we'll be back and we'll finally be able to place down the seeds to wheat to the wheat alright let's see how, how many golems are in here there are a lot let me kill these last two I, I came over here after like a couple hours of work. Oh, look at all that. After a couple hours of working on my base, I came over here and my like, I was afraid my Xbox might shut off or something or I m might not ever be able to get back on this game um, without like deleting it and reinstalling it. Hopefully that doesn't happen. I might um, take some precautions and just end up killing the golems but without like a kill switch so that doesn't end up happening or at least have a different op like two options where I can manually kill them and um, one where it just automatically kills them and then puts uh, their items in a hopper so yeah I was collecting these lily pads and I placed a bunch of trees down it actually takes a lot longer than you'd probably expect to place all those trees down Okay. Let me fill up my water, all these water buckets, then we'll get started with placing these lily pads and then the wheat. Yeah, I had to um, destroy some of that grass right there because I needed it and I didn't have any down here. It's, it's a long ways up, going back up and going back down and up and down. So um, I think after I build my multiple layers of farms then I might start building my storage area I might need more of these um, oh crap I might need more water spots but for right now I think this might be good we'll see we'll just have to wait and see I guess so 
yeah, I have been... Minecraft, once you really get into the game and start, you know, you really start building. Um, like, I haven't built in a while, and it's very fun. Even though, I, I don't know if many would consider to, consider this building, but... Um, I don't know, like, even kind of designing a base, is it's very fun. I might put one right here, just in case. Because I really don't know exactly if it's eight blocks for wheat or if it's more than that. Um, someone leave a comment actually telling me, if, if you know. I think it's eight blocks, that's what I've heard. So, let me finish placing all these. And then we can finally start placing the wheat. It's funny, um, it's funny to me that we play a game where we have to do all this extra work just to get food to survive in the game. It's kind of like real life, I guess. You do st you do certain things in your life to keep yourself alive. Like you work so you can eat so you can survive, which is kind of I don't know. Think about that when when you're talking with some friends. Bring that conversation up. You know, have a have a nice deep conversation. Those are always fun. Okay. And um I I keep I keep saying this, but please follow me on Twitter because that's where I like to talk to talk to you guys, you know. Um YouTube isn't as convenient and Twitter is very convenient for me. So let me I'm I'm definitely going to have to make some more holes over there at that edge. Some of the, uh, tell me if you think I should add any different types of trees, but I think the trees, these um, just oak trees look very nice by themselves. Um, I feel like I should add one tree over here. I think I might add one right there and take away this block. Let me do this really quickly. Let's see if I can do it quick. So I'll show you what I do. Even though I think I already showed you. So I place two blocks like that. Place this sapling. Bone meal it. Place the block underneath and then place the water. Right there. Okay. Yeah, that looks that makes it look a lot like more full. Um I think, let's see if this is good enough for now. I'm going to go around and just see if I think it's good enough. Um, I think it is, honestly. So tell me if you guys think this looks good as well. Time to start placing these. Um, I might end up, like, breaking or putting something here, so. But for now, I'm just going to place, start placing the wheat and then eventually if I need to I will um, move it around so I'll be back in a sec once all this wheat is placed I think what I'm going to do is place these cobblestone walls on each side and then have a little middle portion right in the middle so I can get to each farm by entering this middle section so I'm this will help me keep out most of the slimes unless they go through the center area which I really doubt they will for the most part and if they do uh, it, it's just like a little inconvenience that I'll have but other than that I think um, it'll look very good so let me kill all these guys real quick gosh dang it these guys are so annoying they really are like you, you always, or I seem to always need them, but then when I don't need them, I, they're always there just to bug the crap out of me. So, um, see, no, nothing can get in there. Tell me if that kind of looks a little bit weird, but, um, for now I think it's good. Maybe we could do something like that. Yeah, that, that honestly fixed it, I think. Um, it still looks a little bit weird from this way maybe from that way but um tell me what you guys think 
I think this looks really nice and it's like enclosed it's a nice enclosed area except for one entrance way and it looks pretty nice this is all the seeds I have I'm gonna need a lot more so um once we get an, I'll just harvest these and keep planting them throughout the day when I'm playing um let me place the rest of the cobblestone walls and I don't know exactly what we'll do for the end of the video but um, just I really I really want you guys to tell me what you think about all of this and tell me if it looks good I think I'm gonna do the same exact thing on each of these corners or um, each of these like sections I'll have carrots here potatoes over there and I don't know exactly what I'll have over there yet but we'll figure it out ended up getting everything placed down and holy crap there are a lot of slimes ah uh, hopefully that's not too big of a problem oh right there I bet I think I saw a slime over here earlier so I think that might be the reason that's there okay so yeah I ended up getting seeds from I had a chest full of seeds like maybe 15 stacks of seeds and I ended up placing them all down and I also pl okay geez that always makes me nervous they're gonna go destroy all my crops I did place some um, glowstone as you can see under that lily pad so there's more light at night and um, I'm also gonna place glowstone right here I'm gonna place a piece of glowstone in each tree so at night it um it's not so dark. Oh crap. I I used two full or uh, not two full, but I did use a diamond a full diamond hoe and then a little bit more and then I ended up dying and um I spawned all the way back at the original spawn. I came back I, I like jumped down and I missed the ladder, died again. I came back and it was gone. So, yeah, I ended up losing one diamond hole, but that's not too big of a deal. I will probably put a piece of, um, what's it called? Piece of, uh, or a leaf. I'll put a leaf um, on top once I'm done placing all these. And I actually get some leaves because I have none right now. So, I just need to place a couple more. Uh, this is... Oh, okay. I wish the trees were a little bit closer so I could just jump from tree to tree. But I guess that's fine. I think it honestly, like, here, I'll, I'll give you, after I'm done putting all this glowstone down, glowstone down I will give you a, an overview of what the base looks like. So let me go back and destroy this. It looks, honestly, it looks really good. And I, I love this entrance right here. Tell me what you guys think. You can just walk in and collect your wheat. If you think I should change something, leave a comment. It, it doesn't mean I will for sure change it, but um, I will definitely look at your comment and um, see if I should implement something. Okay, how many more trees? Oh gosh. I do have quite a bit of diamonds from digging out this whole area, but I have been using a lot too. So, um Honestly, digging out bases, I always I've always wanted to like do make a really good base, and I think this will finally be the time when I actually make a good a good base underground cuz I haven't really been able to make one. Only the um ones above ground but I always do it seems like I always try to make bases underground but then they never end up working out or an update comes out or something happens I, I am gonna stay on this world when the update does come out though so yeah don't be worried about me switching worlds cuz um, I think it's kind of annoying when if, if someone always is changing worlds um, let me see if I can land on this lily pad no nope, missed it pine inch Alright, um, let me fill in these last couple. Oh, I should probably destroy all this dirt. There are so many slimes, guys. Oh my gosh. A farm is going to be so nice. I'll use the whole area 
Uh, or I might actually pinpoint the areas where they spawn. I think it's somewhere over there. But um, I think it applies to all, all the areas of blocks, like, for all the way up. So if I went... Or maybe not, actually. But um, I know it applies to not just the bottom, like, bottom area, but if I were to go up, it would be in the same spot they would spawn. So I think I got them all. Holy crap. Alright. Let me... I'll just build up from right here. Alright. Let's take a look. See how it looks. I really don't know how long this video is. I've just been kind of recording, cutting, recording, or er, recording, stopping, recording. So I'll have to edit it all together. Alright. Oh, it looks so much more filled up. I definitely, I need to replace the top leaf. I'll do that off camera. But, oh, does it look good. I think this really does look good and it's coming together. I really love that middle portion. It makes it look so, like, I don't know. It makes it, 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 it makes it come all together. So, um. I don't know if I'll do the other sections off camera or on camera, but I think I might, uh, for right now, I think I might um, do one section per video. Or I might do all of them next video, I don't know. So, uh, let's see, what else was I going to do? Okay, I'll be back once I get these top this top area fig figured out, you know, place all the leaves on there, and then we'll start on the next little project that I'll be working on throughout um, maybe the next 20 videos or forever honestly what I'm about to do might you guys might think I'm crazy for doing it but um what I want to do I went to the nether and I had like a bunch of blocks there already um, and I just picked them up and I had some already in my base as well so yeah um, cause I remember I used to, I, to get experience, I would go to the nether and, um, dig up nether quartz. And honestly, it was a great way to get, um, XP, but I am too advanced now. Now I have the Enderman farm, so that's what I use. Um, but this is what I'm planning on doing. I'll show you in half a second. Let me grab these. All right. So this, I'm not going to do too much, just not even off camera, because I really want your guys' opinion on this. So right here is where I want to go. Is it one more? I think this is how you create it. Yes, there we go. All right. So what I am planning on doing is making my whole world outside of my base, my main base over there. And I, I'm planning on making more little containers um, around my base even. So don't worry, I'm not going to like ruin my whole world by, this, by doing this, but um, I think it's a cool idea. So I'm planning on making my all my outside world basically like nether themed except for my base and um, my like everything that I build that's um, not on the ground or if it's like underground it's gonna be different if it's my base it's gonna be different if it's an iron golem farm or a regular farm it doesn't need to be nether based but um it's it's what's gonna be like it's as if I spawned into the world and it's it was just nether in um, the regular world. So that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping it looks like. And over all of the water, I'm going to place nether portals and hopefully they come out with the update where you can make bigger ne nether portals. Um, so it looks like the lava is flowing and the nether is almost flowing out of the nether portals. That's what I want to make it look like. So I went and got a bunch of buckets of lava and um, I don't know exactly where I want to place it. Do you think I should place it one up, like right there? Let's see how this looks. Alright. 
and I'm placing replacing all the lava with water. So it's as if it's spilling out of the nether, the lava is. Let me put it on the other side, the two blocks. And then I'll add nether quartz, nether brick, um, regular nether blocks, I don't know what they're called, nether, what are they called? Um, nether rack. That's a weird word, saying that, not saying that for a long time, and then saying it, trust me. Um, I'm going to need, see, this is going to take a lot of lava buckets, trust me, on that one. I kind of want to make it look so make it look like it's really full and it's um, like it's it filled it up. So let me just grab like the rest of these buckets. I'm probably gonna have to make a ton of trips to the Nether to get all this lava, or possibly dig underground and get it that way. We'll see which way is like most efficient. I always, I always do that anyway. I always do a different, a bunch of different ways of doing something, and then figuring out which way is the most efficient, and then ending up doing it that way. Um, so I kind of don't like that like flow in the middle. I would rather have it all. Oh, I'm already almost out of lava buckets. This is going to be a long project if I end up doing it, so um, expect to see this quite a bit. But I won't. I'll, I'll never like work on it fully, like the whole episode. Well, I'll, I'll never say that, but um, I, I I don't plan on it. So let's see how it looks. I'll just make a little area around here. I think this episode is already very long. So I'll make the nether quartz in like patches, and s same with everything I guess. Everything seems to come in pa like patches in the nether. Um, tell me if I should add in nether brick. For right now I'm not going to, but if I should, tell me. I kind of want it to be like the nether where there's mostly nether rack and not as much nether brick um, and everything, every other type of block. So I guess the nether rack is kind of like the dirt of um, the, the regular world. The overworld, if you want to call it. That. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably going to die quite a bit um, working with all this lava. Okay, I should probably eat so I regen some of this health. Don't die, and I'm okay. Thank God. I really got close to dying there. Holy crap, that was close. Okay. Let me finish the rest of this, and then I'll be back. So this is what it would look like, but um, of course I would have all of this filled out with all the nether materials. Uh, I, I put two lava sources on each of the sides. Because it did not look right when you could see through. I could see like straight through to the other side. So that didn't look right. Um, tell me what you guys think about this. I'm very skeptical about how this is going to look if I did this everywhere. But um, I think if it was a bigger body of water it would look a lot better. Um, tell me, yeah, just please tell me what you guys think. If, if you think I should just get rid of the whole idea... Or tell me if what you think I should change. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.